everyone, so it's Thursday, and I'm Johnny. Um, I have a really bad headache for some reason, and Tylenol, Tylenol doesn't seem to do the trick. Um, so I've got a headache like this big. Hey Leo, come here, come here, say out of the camera, say out of the camera. Um, so yeah, anyways, uh, I'm going to go straight to questions. Um, Carlos's question was more of like a challenge, and that was to go to another collaboration channel and um, do their Friday video. Well, I went to Six Awesome Originals, and I looked at their Friday video, which was, I believe, something about Halloween, and then I looked at the Thursday video, and it was something about the election. And I was just like, I don't want to answer. Those are so bland and boring now. So I decided to just take a random question I found on one of the videos, and it was, if you could look like any celebrity, who would it be? And I'm going to have to say Carrot Top for a day. And that was, if you could look like any celebrity for a day, actually. I wouldn't want to look like Carrot Top forever. For sure. Never, ever. Only for one day. I could only probably stand looking like Carrot Top for one day, but really, um... I was asking my mom about this question, because I'm with my mom, and she said, you know, well... I told her I don't know who I would look like, and she's like, well, that's good, because that means you're comfortable with who you look like, or what you look like, and you're not spending the day, you don't have anyone to mind that comes to mind when you're like, oh. But anyways, yeah, that was the answer. Um, Michael asked if we could have anyone, uh, if we wanted anyone to be president, although they couldn't be a politician, who would it be? And I would have to say Penn Jillette. I think he would make a damn fine president. Um, although he probably wouldn't want the job. But I still think he'd do a, a damn fine job of it. And what was Nick's question was if you could, what, what is your dream job that you know you could never do? I, mean, I would have to say doctor, and I could never do it for one, um, partly because I wouldn't want to fuck up, because I was like, you fuck up, like, during a surgery, they could die, instead of just where my job, if I fuck up, I just get yelled at later. Um, and then the other thing, the whole, if you're, like, a surgeon, 12 years in college, 8 years for the doctor thing, and, um, I don't know, like, I, li I really like college, but I'm not sure 12 years would be, I don't know if I'd be digging it. Maybe, though. Lacey, by the way, we miss you. Um, you really need to post some videos, even though I know you're really busy. Uh, oh, my question. I had a really good one, too. What was it? Thinking pose. My question is, well, it's another long question, because I'm really liking them. I think they're more interesting. Well, that's not even true. How could you base the interestingness of a question on its length? Anyways, um, say that you knew a, mu a magician, and he could do only do five tricks, really basic ones, such as, you know, make a coin vanish, um, pull a rabbit out of a hat, and uh, let's say he could take a, a jack and turn it into an ace of spades. Now... The kicker is, is that he's actually doing these tricks by real magic. He can actually make the coin vanish into space, and he can actually conjure a rabbit from the hat, and he can actually um, change the jack into an ace by real magic. Now, the question is, do you think you would find this person more or less interesting than Albert Einstein? That is my question. I hope you all have um, an awesome week, and stay tuned for Carlos tomorrow. Goodbye. Say bye, Leo. Bye.